Hey everybody, it is a hot day here on the island. I wanted to give you a little garden tour. I wanted to give you a little garden tour. Look at my fancy nails. I just got them done. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I can turn the camera around. Here we go. All right, I planted where, I mean, I had a bunch of flowers here and some other things, but I rearranged this garden bed to be strawberries, strawberries and mint. I've got these really cool Hawaiian strawberries that are coming up. Um, some have already bloomed and we've already eaten them. There's one that's starting to come in, but they're, they're kind of like these short little fat kind of palish pink strawberries, amazing. Then I've got mojito mint. I got this because mainly I have somebody by the name of Blue Knight that loves mojitos, so I am growing him mint for mojitos. Next, I've got various other little strawberries, just little strawberries that are about to go. I've got these plant stakes here where I just fill them up with water and sometimes I put a water bottle, either a two liter or just a regular water bottle so that the water goes down to the root system so that the water gets to where it needs to go. So yay, um, put that there. I also have a couple of different kinds of mint. I've got this really cool orange mint growing. It started off as a very small little plant and I didn't think it was gonna do anything, but now it's like amazing. Um, then, of course, I've got um, my succulents, which I've had, and that's just doing great. I don't know. It's random. I think it's a carrot. I'm, I'm not sure. There's just stuff. Mystery plants. Um, then I've got this mint here, and I'm trying to see if I have the little thing for it. I do. This I got from the gardeners. Oh, Master Gardeners, look. Master Gardeners wanted it to be a mystery. Well, crap. Keeping with the mint, this is my favorite, favorite mint. This is chocolate mint, and there's some that's coming up from last year. And this is the new leaves for this year. Oh my gosh, I love it. If you love it, um, great way to use it is in like teas or things of that nature. I've got my sage. I've got some spots in the sage that are really active and some that are not. So this is all going to get cut down so that it can all look very, you know, congruent throughout the space here. Because there's some over there, and there's some over here, and there's some over there, and there's some over there. Yeah, enough of that business. Okay, so we're going to go into the garden. Here we go. We've got feminine and masculine, and we've got the green man on the corner. Hi, green man. How you doing? He's eventually going to be a fountain. All right. Come along. Let's do this. Push. I finally found white sage. I'm so freaking excited. Sacred white sage. Hello. It smells pungent and glorious and reminds me of California home. Absolutely. I have got cabbages out the wazoo. These cabbages were something where we had put this kind of like structure with um, plastic here in order to keep it safe over the winter. These cabbages are from last fall, believe it or not actually the end of last summer so they are just massive they're huge they're ridiculous they're doing the things um can't wait to have cabbage rolls in regards to that i have um a, this is asparagus that's actually going to seed right now and i did that on purpose um i've got cilantro i have um bee balm or bergamot I also have a cherry tomato here and some companion flowers in order to keep pests away. I have salad mix, which I've already harvested. I have peas. I have green beans. I have nasturgeum. I have lavender over there. And I have squash and cucumber all over yonder. I've got raspberries that need to go because they're just all over the place and driving me freaking crazy. 
Um, so they have been chopped down, waiting for these berries to come, come to fruit, come ripe and ready. Here's some others that are already. Chomp, chomp. Aren't they pretty?